Hello Capricorn, so this is the reading that I got for you guys for the last two weeks of February. So I got the Three of Wands in reverse, I also got the Judgment in reverse, the Two of Swords, the Hangman in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. So what I'm seeing, um, you guys have walking away, okay, you guys probably walk away a couple weeks from now, a couple months ago. Um, but I'm seeing this past person checking, spying on you. They low key stalking, okay, <laughs> with the page of swords in reverse. Um, they probably blatantly stalking you too, as well, okay, with the page of swords being in reverse. Um, but what I'm seeing is that you guys are had enough, like, you finally walking away, and I'm seeing the shoes on the other foot because I feel like you probably waited for this person to change, you probably waited for them to. Finally give you what you want. Finally give what they promised, okay? Um, but you realize these promises were sweet nothings, you know? It, it didn't lead to anything. And now the shoes on the other foot were... Basically, they're waiting for you. But I feel like you guys turn your back away from them for good, okay? With that three of wands being reversed. Now, the signs that you might be dealing with might be a Scorpio, okay? A Pisces, a Libra... Aquarius, Gemini, um, a Cancer, probably too, okay? Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius too. Um, now, for the Romance Angels, I got Healing Family Issues, Reconciliation, Love Yourself First, Free Yourself, and Passion. So this person trying to seduce you, this person trying to entice you, and why I'm saying that is because I got the Passion card. Um, a couple signs have this too, so um, who had it again? Taurus. Okay, Taurus had this, so I don't know if you're doing with the Taurus. Um, but they did have this. I feel like this person trying to seduce you, trying to entice you through sex, you know, trying to see if you still want them sexually. And they feel like once they have sex with you, like everything changed. Now you back to being docile. Now you back to agreeing to what they have make you agree previously in the past, okay? Um, but a lot of you guys are standing strong and you realize this situation is not for you. You realize when you're going through this relationship with yourself, it's like you're betraying yourself. It's like you don't understand your value, okay? That's what it's showing. And I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are understanding your worth and realize this person is not, it's not for your highest good, okay? Um, now, with free yourself, again, a lot of you guys are going to free yourself from this person. Even though you do have passion for this person, you're going to free yourself from this person, okay? Now, when I clarify healing family issues, we got three swords and the nine of wands in reverse. So this person probably remind you of what you saw when you grew up, when you was in, um, during your childhood. Um, probably your parents went through similar stuff that you went through. Um, I feel like your childhood is significant. It's significant why you was in this relationship, okay? Somehow, like on a subconscious level. But I feel like you guys are understanding what was the why this relationship had to occur for you okay now with reconciliation you got the nine of cups in the verse so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to turn down this person okay this person was trying to offer you some form of reconciliation and you guys are going to turn them down okay that's what i'm saying and when i clarify love yourself first i got the magician in first so you see that the situation is not going to change you see that this person is not going to change for you okay and when I clarify for yourself, I got a lot of cards. I got um, the Hermit in reverse, the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and I got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So I've seen them returning to you. If not, they're probably going to return to the Mercury Retrograde, which is going to be... Right now we're in a shadow period. Um, so Mercury Retrograde is going to happen March 5th. It's going to go directly retrograde on March 5th, but the energy going to still be there until two weeks after, okay? But you're going to start feeling it two weeks before, okay? So this person might try to return to you, but again, I feel like you guys had enough and you guys are standing strong of letting this person go. Now, when I clarify passion, I got the harf in reverse, okay? So yeah, this person trying to entice you through sex, trying to get you back through sex, but they know they're not offering anything that's stable or committed, okay? Okay, so when I clarify the judgment in reverse, I got I got the lovers in reverse, I got the star card, and I got the four swords, okay? 
So yeah, you guys have turned down this person even though this person trying to promise you that they have changed, that they want to give you something, okay? And they're resurfacing back into your life, okay? But with the lovers in reverse, I feel like you make that fine decision and realize this is not the person for you anymore, okay? A lot of signs are just basically breaking up with people and moving on. And I think it's because of that Uranus transiting into Taurus, okay? Because Uranus changed sign every seven years. So I feel like it's, that's why there's going to be major permanent endings, okay? Um, now, when I clarify the Two of Swords, I got the Eight of Cups, I got the Six of Wands, I got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Swords, okay? Yeah, so you guys are really cutting people out of your life, especially people who have no purpose for you. You're cutting them out. Um, you're walking away with no guilt. You're just walking away, and you feel like this is the right thing for you to do. You probably see that your finances have been improved when you cut the situation, you probably see that your life have been improving when you cut this situation out, okay? Now, this person going to feel like this was a missed opportunity with you, okay? Um, but, you know, you guys are keeping it moving, okay? Now, when I clarify the hangman in reverse, I got the five of wands in reverse, okay? Yeah, you guys are walking out of the situation, okay? And I feel like... <laughs> I feel like they kind of like respecting you more, okay? Because it's like they are trying to resurface into your life, but it's like they know that they don't have the hold on you no more. Like they know that you're more powerful without them. I, that's what I'm getting with the five of wands in reverse. Now, when I clarify the page of swords in reverse... I got the full in reverse, I got the high priestess in reverse, and the world card. So I do feel, that, I feel like they are going to be very emotional and temperamental because of you ending this for good. Because they probably thought you was going to take a break and you come back or they're going to come back to you and you accept them. Now, you guys are really changing the game for them because they didn't expect that. And I feel like a lot of them are going to be in their emotions and a lot of them are going to be temperamental with you. Okay, with the high paces being reversed because you don't want to start over no more. You don't want to be a fool for them anymore, okay? You guys have graduated. You guys have leveled up. You guys learned your lesson, okay? That's what I'm saying. Now, when I clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse, I got the Three of Cups in reverse. I got the Nine of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands, okay? So you guys have emotion. You detach yourself for good. This is how you know you are completely over someone. When your emotions are not attached to them whatsoever, like, you are completely detached. Like, you don't care if they're doing good or they're doing bad. You don't care if they move on with someone, if they don't. You don't care if they're married with someone else. You don't care. You don't care if they have a child with someone else. You don't care. It's like, everything is good. Everything is great. Everything is positive. And I feel like a lot of you guys are leading up to that moment where you don't care no more about this person anymore. You have detached yourself from this person and you're not going to reconnect with them. You're not worried about them no more. And you realize the situation was not for your highest good. Okay. Now, when I clarify the three of wands and reverse, I got the chariot and the ace of cups. Okay. I see why you guys don't care no more. Um, you guys are moving forward towards new love, probably with a new Cancer, um, a new water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio. But you guys have turned back away for good because, again, you guys are moving forward with someone new. You have found a, a new love or you have refound your love within your own self, okay? And you guys are moving forward. You know that what you left behind is needed because you guys are going to experience something way much greater, okay? And what is true for you, okay? So that's what I'm seeing um, for Capricorns, okay? I'm seeing you guys are moving on. This person trying to return to you. But it's like they realize you they don't have a hold on you no more, okay? And you guys are free. That's what I'm seeing. And, yeah, that's the reading I got for you, Capricorns. And, again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortheterial at gmail.com.